ago, in a little village, there lived a very learned priest. He was very well respected. And people from far away villages invited him to perform religious ceremonies in their homes. He was a very good priest. But he was also very proud. I don't want to boast. But is there anyone in this entire village who is more intelligent than I am? Huh? I don't think so. One day, the priest had to cross a river to go to a far away village to perform another one of his religious ceremonies. As soon as the boat took off, he began praising himself. My dear people, you should be very grateful that you are travelling with me today. You boatman! He said, addressing the boatman. Do you know how many Puranas there are? No, Maharaj. Oh, what a waste! How many chapters are there in the Vedas? No, Maharaj. Oh, what a waste of a life! I have learnt them all by heart. There's no knowledge that has evaded me. I am indeed blessed and the chosen one by Mother Saraswati herself. Consider yourself lucky, boatman. Just being in my presence may increase your knowledge a little. What about the Gita? No, Maharaj. The priest troubled the boatman for a very long time. Sometime later, strong winds began to blow. The clouds became dark and the river became rough. After several attempts to steady the boat, the boatman yelled out. Jump off everyone! There is a storm approaching us. I, I cannot reach this boat safely to the other side. It is a short distance. We can swim to safety. But I cannot swim. It is not possible that you do not know what even I, an ordinary man, knows. Oh, please help me. But I can't. Each one has to help themselves. I cannot swim for you. Don't your Vedas have any answers? The priest started to tremble. If you don't know to swim, why in the middle of a river, your life is indeed wasted. Saying thus, everyone jumped off the boat and swam to safety, except the proud priest. He drowned in his own folly and false pride.